It can be a scary time for seniors as the threat of the pandemic continues. So what do they need to know about the respiratory disease COVID-19? Dr. Martin Najat with Conviva Care Centers joins us now to shed some light on the subject. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Now, this can be a confusing time, of course, you know, for all patients, but especially seniors. Where can they get accurate information about COVID-19? The sources that I like are the CDC, the American College of Physicians, the WHO, and your doctor. So just as important as the good sources for, um, for COVID-19 information are knowing what are the bad sources. So Facebook, people posting on Facebook, Twitter, and most politicians are not good sources of medical information. You really want to rely on your doctor for good, uh, for excellent sources. So what are some of the typical symptoms of COVID-19? It can vary and not everything is known about COVID-19, but fever, cough, shortness of breath, and loss of smell and taste are the most common symptoms that we see. Now, having said that, not everyone has these symptoms. There are a big uh, percentage of people that don't have fever upon presentation into the ER. So these are people that are being admitted to the hospital for severe COVID symptoms, but initially they don't have fever. So we don't want fever to be one of the symptoms that people rely on. Other symptoms are muscle pain, fatigue, sore throat, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. And there are even reports of people presenting with an acute stroke um, with COVID-19. As restrictions are lifted, should seniors continue to practice social distancing and wearing face masks? They should. You know, in a lot of countries that are lifting social distancing, like Germany, Switzerland, the curve kind of went up and then it went down. But in the U.S., um, it kind of went up and then it went down a little bit and it's kind of flatlined as, as far as I can tell. Um, so it's still around, people are still getting sick. Um, specifically in Texas and in San Antonio, the curve is still like going up. So they should absolutely practice social distancing, wearing face masks. This, um, uh, this virus is transmitted uh, mainly through contact and respiratory droplets. So that means coughing and sneezing. You might know the phrase, say, don't spray it. Right. When you, <laughs> right. Um, you know, when you cough or sneeze, like your droplets can travel a long distance. And so that's why we recommend people continue to wear face masks, continue to socially distance as much as possible, um, continue hand washing as much as possible. Now we know you manage seniors with many complex chronic medical conditions. What's your approach to keeping your patients healthy during this time? A lot of people have missed maybe their appointments with their primary care doctor, with their kidney doctor, with their heart doctor. So now is the time if you missed your appointment to contact those physicians and see if they wanna see you back when they want to see you back. Maybe they're doing telemedicine visits. Maybe they're doing in-person visits. So we want our patients, especially seniors, to be in close contact with, uh, with their physicians. All right, Dr. Martin Najat with Conviva Care Centers. Thank you so much for your time. Conviva Care Centers have seven locations in the San Antonio area, New Braunfels and Floresville. For more information, just call 844-783-0249 or visit their website, convivacarecenters.com.